Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Opal Wild. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. <laughs> I'm so rubbish at these intros, aren't I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all of you. Um, if you come back, then fantastic. If you're a subscriber, great. I mean, I'm cool. I'm doing the, the finger thing. So I talk about all things goth, a little bit of sewing and stuff as well, but mostly goth related stuff. You'll see if you look at my other videos. What we're going to do today is we're going to look through some charity shop stuff I've bought. I know, I know. I need to stop going to charity shops, but there was a big new charity shop in Bristol in a place called Brislington, um, which is just off of Bath Road. It's in the, I think it's the Brislington Retail Park. I told them I'd, uh, I'd tell the internet about this place as it's just opened and it's a massive new charity shop. It's huge. Um, when I've been watching people from America and stuff like that, when they go to thrift stores, I can't say that word, when they go to charity shops, they all seem to be really, really big. My throat just made a, made a weird noise. I can't even talk anymore. Anyway, they seem to be really big. <laughs> and this charity shop was kind of reminiscent of the videos I watched from America. So I'm in England, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, but let's get on with it. I'm going to... Uh, show you around the charity shop a little bit and then we'll cut back and we'll go through the bags. So I thought I'd actually take you into the charity shop today. This is a new one that's just opened up. It's supposed to be like a big new superstore. Please excuse my lack of eyebrows, it's quite early. So uh, let's go have a look. There you go, here's the big new charity shop. It's got a big cafe in it as well. Cool. Okay, so we're here guys. Let's, uh, let's go on in, shall we?
Okay, we are back in the car. Excuse my absolutely insane hair. I've been in there about two hours. That's insane, isn't it? Um, yeah, I got some stuff. I got a couple of bags and stuff. There we go. And uh, let's go home and have a look at it, shall we? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed me sort of looking through the rails in the charity shop. I had to stop after a while. One, because I had way too many things in the basket trolley thing, the pull along basket. And two, because I did go in there quite early in the morning as soon as they opened. But by the time I was kind of three quarters of the way through being in there, it did start to get quite busy. So I decided to stop filming. One, because I didn't want to accidentally film someone that didn't give permission or want to be filmed. And two, because I was trying to social distance and everything like that. So that's why it cuts out after a while. As you may notice, I'm in a different t-shirt. So it's a different day. <laughs> the wonders of editing. I, I could have put the uh, same shirt on, but I want to be transparent with you guys. So let's have a look through the bags, shall we? I say bags, because there's more than one. I know. Are you ready? Um, I hope people like watching these. I feel like, especially when I didn't want to go out due to COVID and stuff like that, and the shops were shut, I liked watching these from like the comfort and the safety of my own home. So I hope that some of you guys can sort of do the same with this. Okay, let's start, shall we? Right, I'm going to start with a big bag, I think. So, bag number one. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, so let's start. So, first item was £3. Obviously, these are all from the same charity shop, okay? So, these are all from Cancer Research. Look at this. It's like a little meshy top. It's got this beautiful detail at the bottom. There we go. Let me do that. Here you can see. It's slightly cropped. And then it's got mesh sleeves going right down to the wrist I thought this was really cute I thought it would also be really nice you could just wear a bra under it and then maybe like an underbust corset or an overbust if you want but I thought that was really sweet so it was originally from New Look it's a size 8 so quite obviously it's not going to fit me yet <laughs> we're on a diet folks we're on a diet okay it's going to fit me at some point that's the hope and if it doesn't, then I can re-gift it or sell it on or something. But the hope is it will fit me. I thought this was really cute. I'm assuming it's 1 million percent polyester. So look, it is made in Moldova. What would I say, Moldova? Yeah, Moldova. Sorry, it's given me lots of different um, languages. Yes, front 100% nylon. And embroidery 100% polyester. And the back is 95% nylon, 5% elastane. And there you go. There you go. But that's quite obvious, wasn't it? But yeah, for £3, I thought that was quite cute. What do you guys think? It's got really nice little ruffling, ruffling? Ruffle detail on the bottom there as well, you see. Quite cute. Right, so that's item number one. Let's put you down there. There you are. So obviously I haven't washed any of these yet, so I'm not going to be trying them on. Um, also, that's a size 8, so I'm not going to be trying that on right now. Uh, but I thought if I didn't wash them and I kept all the tags on, I could tell you how much everything was quite easily. That's the, uh, that's the thought behind it anyway. Right, next item. Right, so this comes with a little camisole underneath, but that's got to walk about somewhere. So this was also £3. Most stuff in this charity shop is £3 or under, unless it's furniture or it's like new items, in which case they're a bit more. But yeah, all £3 are under. And that's including shoes, I think. So this is a floor length lace sort of shift uh, button up dress. It's got really nice little, can you see that? There we go, like fringing on this little tiny sleeves. They're not quite cap sleeves, they're a bit bigger than cap sleeves. I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. There's a nice waistband there, can you see? And then just goes completely down to the floor. Again with this nice fringing. Here we go, can you see? There we are. Yeah, that's really cute. I thought for three pounds, it's telling me it's a 2XL, 
but to me this looks a bit like a 12, maybe a 14. Um, I don't know where it's from originally. I don't think there's another label on it. Let's have a look. Mm, oh, no. Doesn't tell me. It tells me it's made in China and it's 65% polyester, 35% cotton. I'm quite shocked there's any cotton in it, to be honest, but there we are. Maybe cotton is the trims or something. I thought that was cute. I'm like 95% certain this also came with like a little camisole dress to go underneath it, like a little spaghetti strap, job, jobby, you know. You know what I mean, came with one of those. So there's that, three pounds. It's got really nice buttons on it as well. Cute little, see? I thought they were quite cute. But yeah, there we are. Three pounds. Next item. Oh look, more black lace. What a surprise. I know. I'd, you'd think I'd step outside of the remit of black and lace, but no, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> this was, unsurprisingly, also £3. I love the buttons on this, just because there's a million of them. Look at that. Can you even see? Hold on. Can you see that? No, you can't. This is not helpful, is it? I'm telling you there's loads of buttons you can't see. There we are. And it's a little shirt. It does... I think it does right up to the collar. Yeah, it does all the way up to the collar by the looks of it. Yeah. Like. So, you see, that's the collar there. And it's got tiny, now these are cap sleeves, tiny cap sleeves, see. The back, it's got a nice kind of V shape on there, you see what I mean? You see what I mean, sort of. I don't know if I can improve the light on here, we probably can't. I do apologise. There we go, that's a bit better. There's a V on the back, and then buttons all down the front. Doesn't help that I'm in a bright conservatory, does it? <laughs> you get the idea. It's a nice lacy shirt for £3, so I thought that was really nice as well. Um, it's by the brand Brooker, never heard of that. Brooker, there we go. I assume again this is one bazillion percent polyester. Oh, someone has taken the label out. Not surprisingly, because look, who puts a massive white label in a see-through lace black top? Why? Why would you do that? Anyway. But they've cut it because it's been overlocked over the top, so if they undid that, they'd have a massive hole. But I might undo it and then just read, you know, sew it up. You understand, you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm very warm, okay? It's warm in this conservatory. I'm going to put my hair up, okay? I tried to have it down so it'd be all pretty and stuff, but I'm dying of warm. I've turned my fans off for you guys so I can record without noise. So, there we are. So I already chuck it up. It's not very nice, is it? But anyway. Right. Oh, here we are. You know earlier I said there was a camisole that went under that lacy dress. Here it is. And it's really sheer as well, so I don't quite get what they were going for with this. <laughs> you, can, you can definitely see through this. Maybe this is for, like, you know, one of those sorts of clubs. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a sheer black camisole. Again, probably a bazillion percent synthetic. I would assume it feels like it is. Uh, here we go. Let's hunt through here. Yeah, same as the outside. 65% polyester, 35% cotton. There we go. So it's a poly cotton blend, I would say. That's what you that's what you call it, isn't it? Right. Next item. Not lace this time, but sort of a chiffon material. Just a black chiffon shirt. See? It's by definitions. I don't know. Also three pounds. I'm sensing a theme here. It's got these really nice little buttons. They look a bit like Mother of Pearl. Maybe they are. Mm, the back suggests they may be. But I bought it now, haven't I? I need to really check things before I buy them, but at least it's second hand. Yeah, just a nice black sheer shirt with long sleeves. It's got buttons all down the front. And then on the cuffs, it's got one more single button. 
So yeah, just a cute one just to chuck over like a cami or a vest top or something like that. So that's quite cute for three pounds. Thank you very much. And we know that's polyester because it's a chiffon -y material. Next item. How are all you guys anyway? You all doing well? I hope so. I do hope so. It's quite hot here today. What's it like where you are? Let's discuss the weather. Hmm. Uh, right, so next item. Three pounds once again. Just a big chiffon top. Cute little detail on the back with this little button. Little peephole closure. See? Like that. Size medium, so I'd say it's probably about 12 or so. It's got a big old massive white label in again because they like putting giant white labels and things. 100% polyester. So, Worden Vorhead Wassen, Vita Vorder Esten Washer Entferen. Oh, well, there we go. Remove before washing. That's what that says. And levers of the lavage. There we go. Lavage. That was like the most English way of trying to speak French then, wasn't it? And probably really bad German pronunciation as well. I'm sorry. France and Germany. My brain just went there. Sorry. Or well, just French and German speakers in general. Anyway. So, yeah, just a cute ship, ship on top. Again, three pounds. Not sure if I said that, but three pounds. I think I'd wear that a fair bit. Especially in the summer, like when you want something to cover up, but you don't want something really, really heavy. Okay, although it's polyester, so it will be warm, remember that. Okay, so we've upped the brightness, because you couldn't see any of the things I was showing you, because they're all black. So, I'm not going to redo the million things I've already showed you, because I think re-recording them, it doesn't seem as organic when I'm talking about them. But we'll go on from here. If you do want to see anything in more detail, then let me know, and I can always do like a picture or something down below. Okay, so next one. How pretty is this? It's like a high collared shirt. It's got lots of inserts of lace. Well, it's probably inserts because it's part of the garment. So does it count as an insert? It's a lovely sleeve. Up the back it has buttons. Can you see? There we are. Just here. Like a line of buttons. It's also got this nice detail on the front here. I feel like I'm really not showing this well. Here we go. See? And it was £3 from Warehouse. It's a size 10, so it's not going to fit right now. But it is pretty. And then halfway down, it's got this kind of gathered section. And then it flares out at the bottom. I thought that was quite cute. Yeah, for £3. Hmm. Right, next. So this is a kind of heavier lace shirt, quite 90s, um, one of my friends said when I showed them. Uh, I do agree with them, it's by H&M. There we go. It's slightly cropped I think, it looks a bit short, but shorter than a normal uh, shirt. See, it's all just lace, this is £3 once more. It has a nice block collar with little tiny black buttons down the side. And yeah. Just thought that was quite nice. Can't go wrong with a sort of lacy shirt, I don't think. They're always good. So next is this shirt. It's by a brand called Essence. I think it's cotton. Might be poly cotton, but let's have a look. Made in Romania. Yes, 96% cotton, 4% elastane, so it's got a little bit of stretch in it. There we go. And it's like a pirate shirt. There you go. So it's got a sort of grommeted, is that the word? It's got little eyelets at the top, and also on the sleeves it's got eyelets as well. I just thought it was quite cute. I don't really know if it's my style, but if I'm ever feeling like I want to be a goth pirate, I thought it would be fun. Why not be a goth pirate? If you can be a goth pirate, why not? That's that's how I feel about it. Um, <laughs> yeah. God, I feel like I look so tired and old today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm tired and old. <laughs> oh, God. Next item.
It's black again, are you surprised? Um, <laughs> it's lacy, it was also three pounds. And it's this nice lacy top. Look at that, and it's got like a peplum at the bottom with long sleeves, there we go. And then it's quite a sort of plungy neckline, so that's, hello, top, if I put it on, it'll probably be down to like here. Maybe I'd wear a shirt under that, I mean, probably should, but you know, live a little, I guess. Yeah, I thought that was really cute. I don't think it's got a label on it at all. And it's gone on the inside. Does it tell me who it was by or not? Let's have a look. I don't think it's going to tell me who it was by. Made in China. Use a laundry bag, it's telling me. Okay, that's fine. 100% polyester. Um, 88% polyamide. 12% elastane. It's not going to tell me who's made it, has it? Has it? Will it? Oh my goodness, I can't speak. There we are, H&M. Excuse me. It's H&M. But you never know with H&M. Like, this to me looks really 90s. But it could have come out like last year because things keep cycling back around. I've learned that in my few hundred years. They always come back around. So if you like an item, wear it anyway. Doesn't matter if it's on trend. Who cares? If you like it, wear it. I mean, that's what I do. I don't really care if, if people don't like it, I guess. Like, if I like it, why should it matter what anyone else thinks? Anyway, rant over. Let's have a look. Oh, look! It's more black lace. I've got to stop, haven't I? I've got to stop. Okay, so this is another black lace shirt for three pounds. I tell a lie, it's not a shirt, it's a dress. It's a bit like the other one. So I feel like, did this come with the camisole or did the other one? I don't know. One of them came with the camisole. We'll never know, will we? I think I think the camisole went with the other one because it was exactly it was exactly the same materials as the other one, so that would make sense, wouldn't it? So this was again three pounds, I'm sure I just said that. Very much the same as the other one. I think it's gonna be a bit longer and I think it's a bit bigger in size as well. So it says it's a small, but it, it feels like a sort of 12, maybe a 14. 100% um, polyester again. Doesn't tell me who it is by, but that is fine. I thought that was quite nice. I quite like the collar being not lace as well. So it stands up on its own. So I could put a collar pin or collar pins, like a little chain or something between. I thought that would look quite cute. Huh. Fancy. I'm sure it's polyester, did I say that or not? Let's have a look. Do 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 do. 100% polyester. Machine wash cold. Uh, wash cold, gentle, with like colours. I don't think I've got any other black clothes. I'm just going to have to wash it on its own, aren't I? That's a waste of water. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right. Three pounds. Number one. Done. This was three pounds. It's a very lovely waistcoat by, who's it by? Are you gonna tell me? Nope, it's dry clean only. It's a black waistcoat. Can you see this patterning on here? There we go. It's like little sort of damask -y patterns, but in squares. There we go. So I got this one for me. Sorry, I have an itchy nose. I do apologise. There we go. I got this one for me for three pounds. I thought that was really cute. Uh, the back is just silky, as you can see. And next one, quite similar. I got this one for the bearded gentleman over there, my other half. This is from Slaters. It's still got the tag on it. So this was three pounds. Apparently originally it was twenty-five pounds. It's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. Um I would have paid more than three pounds for this to be honest. Look at this. Oh damask. It's very pretty or Picard. If you like, I suppose. It's very pretty, isn't it? Black waistcoat 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, dry clean only. And it is 50% polyester, 50% viscose, and the outer, and the rest of it is polyester basically. So the face is the 50%, 50% one. And the rest is polyester, but yeah. Oh, just so pretty. So pretty. It's too big for me. Otherwise, I'd definitely be wearing it. But I could wear an oversized waistcoat. I'm not going to. I'm not going to steal his clothes, but. It is very nice, isn't it? So there's that one. Again, three pounds, I'm sure I just said that, didn't I? I do apologise. Right, next item. We got him this coat. So this was three pounds. It's a very, very dark grey coat. Here we go. It's full length. Look at that. It is, or it has rather, it's got pockets. It's got big pockets, obviously, because guys' clothes have pockets and girls' clothes have poor imitations of pockets. Look at the inside pocket in this. I could fit my entire hand in this. Anyway, let's not go on a pocket rant. Let's not do that today. So it's by Austin Reed, made in England. And you'll be impressed with this. Okay, so for three English pounds, this is made of wool. So a woollen coat, look, I'm, I know it's the wrong season to be buying woollen coats, but a woollen coat for three pounds. That's just, that's crazy, isn't it? So good. So there we go. So he has a coat for winter now, which is really cool. Yeah, very, very impressed with that. He's got really nice pockets on the outside as well with the pocket flaps. Just a really well-made coat for three pounds. I can't get over it, can you tell? I'm just like, yeah. So there's that one. Okay, so the next item is quite boring, but you know, lockdown life. It was two pounds, and it is just shum. It was just some jogging bottoms, so some black jogging bottoms, just for around the house. Yeah, originally from Peacocks. Yeah, they're black jogging bottoms. You know, not that exciting. On the pile they go. Next item. <laughs> Bit weird, bit random. A toucan ice cube tray. But if you want tiny toucans as an ice cube. I know, I know, I've gone completely mad, haven't I? <laughs> I thought I could, could, could do like tiny soaps in them or something. Okay, so this was 50p because it was two for one pound. One pound? One pound. Um, and this was in the same big box. So I think there was a lot of donated stock from Amazon or something like that. Um, so this is, there's two of them in here. They plug into the type of iPhone I have, which is an iPhone 7. And it means that you can plug in your headphones without needing the special iPhone headphones, which is quite helpful. So that was 50p with that one pound. I thought that was quite good, really. Right, next item. So this was two pounds, massive shift on skirt, like massive in width, if you see what I mean. It's pleated, is that the word? Or just made to look like it's pleated, but it's very pretty. It's got, is it two layers or one layer? Just one layer, but it feels like it's quite heavy weighted. I probably have to wear something like underneath it because it looks a bit sheer. You can see through it a little bit. Um, yes, this was two pounds by a brand called Together. Who knows? If you've heard of any of these brands, do let me know. Um, gonna take a wild stab in the dark and say it's 100% polyester. I can't find a tag, <laughs> but you believe me, yeah? I'm sure it is. So yeah, two pounds. Quite impressed. Just for like an everyday skirt. I thought that would be quite cool. Can't have too many stuff. I'm sorry, I literally cannot speak today, guys. I just can't speak. You cannot have too many skirts. There we go. Okay. Next item. Now, this is almost going into the realm of, like, cybergoth, of which I am not. Not that I have anything against cybergoths. That's what you are. That's all great by me. 
but I am very much a trad goth. I like trad goth, goth music. I like to dress like I'm a vampire. I'm not so much into this kind of thing, but I thought it was cute, so I got it. So this was three pounds, and it's a sort of mesh crop top. There we go. So I thought again I could wear this with just like a bra and like maybe an underbust or something. Yeah. What do you think? Well, it was quite cute. Three pounds. Don't think it's got a tag of any kind on. Oh, it has. There we are. It was originally from Topshop. Made in Turkey. There we are. Does it tell me what fabric it is or anything? Mm. Uh, 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 uh. 96% polyester, 4% elastane. There we are. Little tiny top. £3. I thought that was cute though. Cool. You wouldn't call this fishnet. No, you wouldn't call this fishnet, would you? You'd call it mesh. I assume. I only know about fishnet because I'm an old goth person. I don't I don't understand the children's fashions. So yeah, I thought that was quite cute. Next item. Oh look what a surprise there's some velvet in here as well. Okay, so this was three pounds. It's a dress, just a simple like shift style dress, but if you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all, they're kind of ruched up the sides, can you see that? See the edge here, it's like ruched. I don't know how much of that you can see, there we are. They've just kind of ruched it a bit, just to give it a bit of interest at the edges. But it's basically just a, a long shift dress, three quarter length sleeves. Uh, three pounds as I'm sure I said by a company called Blooming Marvellous well that just sounds very British doesn't it it's Blooming Blooming Marvellous that is oh my goodness great Scott Blooming Marvellous anyway I digress again 94% uh, polyester 6% elastane there we go I thought that was cute though little velvet dress I think that will come down to maybe just so look from me, yeah, just just below the knee, maybe just above the knee. Yeah, I thought that was cute then. Three pounds. Okay. Next item. It's black again. Are you surprised? So this was two pounds. It's from H and M. Now there's something exciting about this. Let's see if you can guess what it is. So it's like a chiffony skirt. It's got two layers. Do you pin to, are they pinned together? Oh yeah, just. So two layers, like that. Um, should we see if we find out what material it is? I'm sure it is just polyester, one bazillion percent. Yes, all polyester. Have you worked out what's uh, what's great about this skirt yet? It's not very fair, is it? I can see and you can't. Oh, what's this? A pocket? Is there one on the other side or is there just... Yes! It's got two pockets in it. Do you know, this is the only skirt that I own that has pockets. The only skirt. Like, and these are like the size of my hand and I have a very small hand. I have small hands. My hands are small. Um, <laughs> So it just goes in, but there's pockets, so I'm happy for that. I'm grateful for even the smallest of pockets in modern garments. But I don't have any not modern garments, so you know. My friend has made some pockets and they are glorious. Yeah, and I just need to get on that game and make some because the pockets are just so small and things. But it has pockets, so you know, I can't be that mad because nothing ever has pockets, especially for women, as I've moaned about previous to this video. But yeah, really long skirt by H&M. Pockets and two pounds. I mean, you can't go that wrong, can you? Awesome. Next item, we're almost there, guys. I'm getting worn out doing this. This is gonna be the longest video. Maybe I should like make it into parts or something. We'll see how long it is and then uh, I'll let you know. Well, you'll know, won't you? If it says part one or part two, then you'll know I split it into parts. 
Okay, so this is from, oh no, it's, it's that new company, I don't know how to pronounce it. Xian? Xin? I am young and hip and cool and down with the kids and such. Three pounds. So it's just very much a kind of shift dress. It's almost like a 60s feel to it, but it's got a little high collar. Lace on the top, like that. It's by that brand, Sheen, Shen, Sheen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by that brand. I went on their website once. I'm not going on there again. It's just, there's about 28 pop ups. You go on there and it's like, buy these things! And you're like, no. Um, fast fashion aside. <laughs> Terrifying, terrifying. Maybe it's because I'm not 18 or something, but oh my god, just boom, 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 boom. No, no, stop. Anyway, it's 95%. They put polyester, I assume polyester. I don't know. If, if there's something else called that's polyester that's not polyester, tell me, but I think it's polyester. 5% spandex. Oh. Wash with light colours again. Well, that's that. That's going to have to get washed on its own as well. Well, there we are. <laughs> Save three pounds. Well, that was quite cute for three pounds. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost there. Okay. Two pounds. Oh look, some more netty lacy stuff. So this is like a a tank top. I would call it a vest. It's made of lace. It's got a lace collar as well, but in differing lace. I don't know who it was by originally, but I don't think there's any tanks on it. Is there any? Oh, there's one down here. There we go. Uh, Secret Possessions. That's Primark, isn't it? Yeah, Primark. Made in China. Not going to tell me what you're made of. Probably 100% polyester. There we go. Yeah, quite cute. Two pounds. Thought if I could, uh, I'd put it on, I can't speak, oh my god, I would put it on over a little spaghetti strap top. I was about to say singlet, that is your fault, you know who you are, um, that I'm saying singlet. <laughs> and there's, uh, yeah, the little contrast lace at the bottom as well, so a little bit different. Yeah, I thought it was cute for two pounds. There we are. Right, we're almost done. Ooh, cling. What's she getting, you think? You think, you ask? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right. So, I got three of these. So I got this one, which is little and silver. This one, which is gold and silver and a bit bigger. And this one, which is kind of darker metal and silver. They were one pound each. Why have I got these, you ask? Because I'm a vampire, okay? And I, I live at least 200 years ago where I need to walk around the flat with a candle like this. That's why. <laughs> and I thought they were pretty. So, yeah. One pound. Well, that was pretty good. So, another thing that I got, and I believe this was three pounds. I can't find a label on it, but I'm sure it was three. Oh, there it is. There it is. This was three pounds was this what looks like an absolutely brand new bag apart from this little bit of stitching down here by Ann Stokes she's the person that does all those gothic drawings and it's got this lady on the front of it I don't really know if this is my style but for £3 it's like a black PVC bag even if I have it the other way around that's quite cute it looks quite big as well let's have a look inside So they've just stuffed it out with bags, I think, but yeah, it's got like, that's been used a little bit, but not a great deal. It's got a couple of little pockets on the inside. Can you see? Well, it's got a fair few pockets, actually. So it's got bigger pockets on the other side with a zip and then another pocket here with a zip. It's got loads of compartments, actually. It's got one pocket with a zip, then a hole. Then another pocket with a zip. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's a big, big bag though. 
for three pounds. So I was quite impressed with that one. Okay, so last but by no means least, I got this. It's brand new, I think it's X Amazon stock. It was five pounds from the same place. And it is a makeup brush cleaner. So I haven't actually opened this yet, so let's have a look together. So this may be rubbish, but I thought for five pounds I could support the charity. So I think the idea is it spins the brush round and it also dries it. It has attachments, apparently. I don't know. Wand attachments. Okay, so you put the brush in here, I assume. This looks like the base. And this is the little bowl. Oh, I see. And then basically you... I can't get this out with one hand, but there's lots of attachments in here. Let's see if I can get you out of here. I'm doing the song. I've got a music degree, you wouldn't know. Uh, there we are. So you put the attachments on somewhere, somehow. I know what I'm doing, I promise. I'm making this up as I go along here. Okay, oh, there we are. So what you do is you put that one in there, I would assume. I could look at the uh, guide, can I? Yeah, like that, I think. And then you put that on. No, you don't. I'm doing this wrong, okay? <laughs> it goes on here, it twiddles around. That's what I think it does. Let's have a look. Yeah, the spindle goes on the spindle and then goes around. So it's got quite a lot of instructions like select the brush, note the type of makeup, is it water soluble or not? Select the best fitting, put it all on, put cleanser or liquid soap and water in the bowl, you can't see this, and then it spins it around. But yeah, well, for £5, I'd give it a go. So that was all of the charity shop stuff that I got in Cancer Research, in the big new Brislington Superstore, or whatever it's called, it's massive. Um, definitely go down there because there's loads of stuff. The menswear section is bigger than it normally is in charity shops. Um, just the sheer amount really, it's the scale, so it's still less than the women's wear, but because it's a bigger store you've got more clothes, that's all. So yeah, definitely worth a look I'd say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to subscribe then if you hit the little button down below and then also hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified when I put a new video up. I aim to do a couple of videos every week if you've got any suggestions or questions or comments, please do leave them down below. I hope you are all well. Take care, bats, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.